You have a bunch of old slides lying around the house? I do. I literally have hundreds of them. They're the kind that you used to put in the slide projector, project on a screen or on the wall. They have a lot of great pictures, but unfortunately, it's very difficult to get them into your hard drive on your computer so that you can then view them on the computer as a slideshow. Uh, I had that problem, and I think I kind of solved it, and I want to show you how you can solve it too. Of course, one of the solutions would be to send it out and have somebody do it, but it's pretty expensive too, especially if you have uh, zillions of slides to work with. So let me show you how to do this. It worked great for me. Here's the first thing you have to do. You take a wire coat hanger and you bend it into a configuration like I show here. In other words, kind of a long rectangular piece and then uh, jutting out from that a stalk, so to speak, or in other words, an up upward projection upon which you can attach a device to connect your slides. You'll see what I mean a little more clearly in the next picture. Here's kind of a front view of it. That piece that you see in the front, that plastic piece, is a thing that I use to mount my slides so that I can take a picture of them. And really what it is, is a, I think it's a molding connector for a car molding. But it serves the purpose perfectly because it allows the slides to be slipped in there right away. Now you might say to yourself, where am I going to get this piece of molding? I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to show you how you could avoid that and use a simple paper clip and it'll work just as well, maybe even better. Now here's a picture that shows how the end of the stalk has to be bent in order to allow the paper clip, which I show here, to be slid over it and thereby supply a, a mounting point for the slides that you're going to photograph and then of course put on your hard drive. So take a good look at that. Now the, the width of that little projection that I see there it says, um, well let me see what it does. Uh, it's labeled as wire bend. Now you have to make that a width so they can be slid into the base of the paper clip and, hold, and have then held in place. You'll see what I mean in the next pictures. There it is. I'm sliding the paper clip onto that support so that it can be held vertical. And then of course you can just put the slides in that paper clip. So that's what I mean by making it a proper width so that the paper clip can be mounted. Now here's the bottom of my uh, video cam. I put some double faced Velcro tape. When I say double faced, I mean it has, you know, it here is sticky stuff on the bottom. And I put that on the bottom of the camera and that black stuff that you saw on the uh, wire frame, that was the other side of the Velcro, which I attached to it. So now, of course, what I can do is just stick that little frame on the bottom of my video camera, like this. Now, you're going to have to do a little experimentation because what you want to do is you want to make the height of that stalk the proper height so it places the slide right in front of the camera lens. So you may have to bend it a little bit here or there in order to make it the proper height so as to accommodate the slide position. I think you know what I mean. But I have a little arrow there pointing to the thing that you have to adjust the height for. Once you make it the proper height, all you have to do then, of course, is slide the slide into the holder. Now here I show it in the uh, molding clip, but of course you may have yours mounted in the paper clip. It doesn't make any difference as long as the slide is held vertical in front of the camera lens, no problem. Here's a close-up as to what I'm speaking about. Uh, notice the distance between the slide and the camera lens, in my case anyway. Eh, it looks like maybe it's uh, two inches or so. That should do it. If it doesn't, of course, you'll have to adjust it so that you can get the proper focusing. Next, what you do is take a lampshade, turn it horizontally, and tape a piece of paper over the face, or the, actually the top of the lampshade. And this provides a nice white background screen, fully lit by the, uh, the lamp. Next, you hold the slide up in front of the screen. Through the viewer, you can see it perfectly clear. If you have to make a little adjustments left, right, up, or down so that it fills the entire screen of the video cam, that's okay. Snap the picture, and now you've got it.
of course, then all you have to do is put it into your computer. And now what you can do, of course, too, is take that slide out, put the next slide in, and it does take a little bit of time, but the end result is good. All the slides that I took came out great, not a problem. Now, the reason I'm showing you this, too, is if you say, well, I'll just do it by uh, putting, scanning them, that'll work. Trust me, folks, it doesn't work. No way, not even close. There, I found no other way to do this except the one I've just described, and it worked out real fine. So maybe you want to give it a try. Good luck.